It's interesting how they say what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas and all these giant companies come here for CES and NAB and announce their fantastic products for the world to see. Today we're talking about Sony's brand new G-series lens 16 to 25 f2.8. This lens is fantastic. I don't have anything bad to say about it. It is smaller, is lighter compared to G Master 16 to 35 f2.8, and it is cheaper. With an ultra wide angle lens, the shake is not gonna look that much drastic because you know you're seeing a lot, so it's gonna look a lot more smoother. So that's great for vlogging as well. And even if we switch to 25 and start walking around with the active slow position, this is what it looks like. It has the 67 millimeter filter thread which is, I guess, what Sony is doing now because the 24 to 50 lens had the same filter thread as well. So when you get one set of filters, that's it, you're done. You don't need to get different size of filters now. You can get this lens and 24 to 50 in the price of just getting one G Master lens. So if you're beginning, if you're getting into the full frame, this is incredible. I've been using this lens during the entire NAB. I used it for vlogging. I used it for interviews, I used it in the daytime, under harsh sunlight, I used it nighttime, I used it with filters, I used it in 120 frames per second, in 24 frames per second, and in every situation, this lens gave me everything I wanted. It has 11 blade aperture, and the bokeh is really beautiful. And the minimum focus distance is so little that if you want to do product close-ups, it works great, especially when you switch to manual focus, there's a little more that you can go closer. And in 16 millimeter, you almost touch the product with the lens, so watch out. But it gives you, I kept the aperture wide open to give you the most depth of field. It just works great. I think if you get this lens and 24 to 50 for travel, you get one set of filters in your bag and you're good to go. And because it's smaller and lighter, it was so much easier to use while I'm vlogging, while I'm interviewing. In every setup, it made the camera the center of weight and it was really easy to balance in my hand and easy to use. When it comes to focus breathing, this lens almost has no focus breathing, which is great. What that means is you can turn off the focus breathing compensation on your camera and get a bigger picture, if I may say so. Okay, now let's look at the focus breathing. Switch the manual focus over here. Let's go out to 16 millimeter. It's 
it's almost nothing is moving. Let's switch to 25. It's incredible. I switched to manual focus. Let's turn the picking on and I'm gonna zoom out. The focus stays in the same place. I'm gonna zoom in. The focus stays in the same place. On the lens itself, we have the focus ring, we have the aperture ring, we have the zoom ring, and we have the linear response manual focus. What that means is if you hold the focus in your hand like this, and when you go this much and come back that much, the focus is gonna be in the same place, no matter how fast you rotate the manual focus ring. So the focus is in when I'm there, so I go here. And when I go back to there, we have the focus again. Also, we have the aperture click switch. If you keep it on while they're changing the aperture, it's gonna go and if you turn it off, it's gonna go really smoothly. Depending on your uh, preference, you can change that too. So compared to G Master Lens, it's not, it really isn't pulling any punches. Should you be jealous if you have the G Master Lens? No, of course not. You have the uh, larger range up to 35 millimeter and it's the G Master Lens. When you start pixel peeping, you're gonna see that that's still, it's in the lead. But this, if I don't tell anyone, this is the G Lens, no one is gonna be able to tell the difference between G and G Master. Of course, dust and moisture resistant, needless to say, and it has the fluorine coating. And using this lens has been a delight. I know I say this all the time, but you gotta see my lens collection, I guess. I'll be getting this lens as soon as it starts going on sale. This lens is amazing. Traveling with it, I guess, makes the perfect experience for me. And compared to the 16 to 35, this made a big difference. This gives me a space in my luggage for another lens another G lens, but in my home studio, I think I'll use my G Master. Well, thank you very much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it. Here from NAB 2024, I'm having a great time. Vegas is great. It's hot, it's cold, it's cold, windy, hot, everything. And, um, but it's been great, NAB has been great. It's really crowded this year, which is really nice, so it's, fun there's a lot of energy going on i like to thank these thank these pillows for reflecting a light towards my face <laughs> yeah i set it up here so we can get this done yeah thank you very much for watching let me know in the comments below because i'm really curious about what you think about this lens this lens is really close to 16 to 35 apart from the 25 to 35 range and i really want to know which one would you prefer? And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves and hoist chuckle in.